Well, hi folks, here we are again. It's a rainy, chilly day on the island. Trust everybody's fine. Today we're going to take a little bit different tack. And of course we have uh, some links uh, in the description area to back up what we're saying. Now as we look at all of the kerfuffle around the Wuhan walls, you know, all the lockdowns and closures and regulations and uh, holiday cancellations and all of that sort of thing. Um, I started wondering, thinking, what is the, what are the leading causes of death uh, in Canada? Say? And it turns out they're the same, they're the same top three as the United States has. And of course, I uh, didn't draw these numbers up. I've got some some uh, couple of articles that sort of verify these numbers and of course the first cause of death this is premature deaths not old age premature deaths the number one cause is cancer the number two cause is heart disease and the number three cause is medical errors that's right, medical errors. In Canada, around 28,000 people die every year from medical errors. Now, they don't tell us about that. That sort of, you got to really sort of be looking to find that out and sort of doing some skullduggery because they're not telling us. Uh, they don't announce that. Uh, like, a, like the Wuhan Waltz test, they announce those every day, but they're not announcing <laughs> deaths from deaths from error so you can look up how many deaths you have in your country uh, from the Wuhan waltz and then look at how many have died from medical errors and see which one is greater and see whether they're locking us down locking us up having different regulations for that now I say that for a reason because we have been told so many different things what we should be doing or shouldn't be doing with this Wuhan Alt said it's sort of confusing at times. Some of the uh, some of the announcements that come out just don't make any sense. And uh, so just keep that in mind. And the second thing that I wanted to talk about today was the Canadian financial situation. I have two videos there, to, two links to go and check it out, back, back it up. I mean, we're, in, in the U.S., uh, they have, uh, you can go online and see where they're spending all this, all this uh, free money, what companies are getting it and whatever. In Canada, well, who knows? We don't know, as the public, and I'm not sure if the government knows. I mean, they've got several contracts they can't find. It was thousands of dollars. They don't know who they were issued to, where they went to. And you would think, well, it's been a rough, busy time, so maybe they're confused. These are the people leading the show. And as I mentioned yesterday, one of the leading financial bureaucrats resigned. Did he resign because of all this government kerfuffling? Who knows? They didn't really say why. So we're looking at, in Canada it's particularly, right now it's particularly, you know, you, you're, you're sort of concerned about it because we've had scandals that have been sort of wiped over. Where money has gone, perhaps money has been given or and it's just sort of nobody wants to talk about it. Boy, well, they closed it up. The wee scandal is the the last one. Mind you, I think this whole thing is a scandal. We have a minority government, most of the time working from home, and our prime minister is off of his front steps, handing out bag loads of money. Doesn't know where it's all gone, or if he does, he's not telling us. And yet, giving us all this goofy stuff that we had to do. How they're trying to control how we live our lives down to how many people you can have in your home. So keep that in mind. Now let's go back to the first one. Death by error. 
Now these same, the, you, when you combine the medical people, the bureaucrats, and the politicians who are just, uh, maybe are they just stupid or egotistical or whatever it is, you combine, combine those two factors and then look at what they're, how they're running this Wuhan Walt show. It is, uh, it's a bit alarming really. We've had almost a year into this now and nobody is still sure quite what to do. We've gone from flattening the curve to stopping this, controlling the spread sort of thing. We're gone from the, that particular thing doesn't work to now you have to wear them more in British Columbia you get fined two hundred and thirty dollars. You can go in a movie theater, but you can't go to a live performance. You can shop at the big box stores, but you can't shop at a smaller store. I mean, some of these things just aren't making sense. A small restaurant has to close, but the big chains stay open. Something is not adding up. Something isn't adding up. And I've just got back on YouTube, so I've got to be careful what I'm saying here, because I might get, we'll get uh, another strike, and it's two weeks or whatever, what, whatever these the, these people pull out of their hat sort of thing. I don't know, but it, <laughs> you can always catch me on pit shoot or partner if we're sort of throwing off the others. But it's the whole grist of this is interesting because the people leading the show. The people in Canada leading the show on the Wuhan walls. They have more deaths from medical error. It's the third leading cause, leading cause of death. And we have politicians or a government who doesn't know where the money is going. Or if they do, they're not telling us. We're the worst off country apparently in the G20, of the G20 countries. Think about that. We're just over our, over our eyeballs in debt. And they don't know where it's going or they don't want to tell us. They just keep handing it out. Something isn't right here. And yet, these people are telling us how many people we can have in our homes. Think about that. Think about that. Third leading cause of death in Canada and in the United States is medical errors. They don't broadcast that. Keep that under the under the rug. In Canada, our financial situation is upside down, and the government has not issued not issued information of where and who and what the money was spent on. And yet, they're telling us how many people we can have in our homes. What we should do, what we should, what we should do, how we should dance this Wuhan waltz. I don't know. Uh, if you were in business, would you hire either two of these groups to sort of direct your show? Probably not. When you look at these stats. Anyway, it's a short one. Bye for now. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow.